welcome back to my channel if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel this is the place where you can learn microsoft intune in this video today in this video i am going to share you about one article which is one of my friends has created it's not an article it's a blog so you can see on my screen which is the the blog url is https slash www.tomwith.nl so he is one of my friend located in netherlands germany so he created this nice blog uh, for all of us so if you want to use that i i should not use this in my video but since this is publicly av available and i he is my friend so i just want to share this information because this is one of the best blog i have found on the internet you will be struggling if you are uh, building up power bi reports using graph api i know you can i have already made video and how you can build the report through intune data warehouse by using this data warehouse url but those will not be uh, the customized one right it will have uh, some uh, misinformation or duplicate informations using if you use the data warehouse and now even with the data warehouse url uh, you can only get the data for 90 days but if you are looking to get the live data reports right for your uh, for your reporting purpose you can use this uh, <coughs> blog right i would say uh, to build the power bi reports using graph api so how you can do that so there is a, currently there is a only two uh, i will first you have to go through this article if you directly click on other one uh, you won't able to understand it so if you are you see they have this is the recent one it's created on 10th of september and how you can use the graph api data in power bi for microsoft intune so it's nicely written one of the thorough article you have seen i searched many blogs to build the report I didn't find then I have seen I have actually asked Tom to write this article so he has spent so much time to build this and write this blog for everyone so I'm just gonna share you so if you have don't if you are actually exploring or trying to build the report just go through this link you will really love these blogs and it, especially for now I mean related to the intune or just building the power bi report for live data so what you have to do this as he mentions i will not go through in detail you have to come here you have to read this article thoroughly and if you skip any of these words you will get stuck i, I am i am i can surely tell you i can show in my video as well but i don't want to show because it's already written here if I saw something in the video which may not work, but if you follow this blogs or article, it will, I can assure you it will work 100% and you will able to build the reports. So this guide actually completely is a full fledged guide to help you being as an admin or being a report builder or data analyst or business list. You want to use or import the graph API data right into the power bi so oh, in this in specific microsoft intune data so what you have to do there is some prerequisites i i gonna just quickly so uh, so you you have to create an app registration and then permissions and then create a custom authentication header in the power bi he also attach the power bi sample templates uh, at the end of this article I gonna I will show you from where you can download it so that you can also download it. So in this article, they have he has gone through each step one by one. 
so what you have to do is he has to as as a prerequisite rights you have to create an app registration so you need to have a uh, azure admin access so you have to go to the app registrations there right you can create a new registrations here you can put graph api right here and you can select the single user multi tenant and you can redirect give the redirect tool i'm just click on register so i've just put the graph api here and as soon as i click on the graph api you see the i have given a name of graph api this is the client id this is the tenant id you will need this information this client id and secret id if you follow that blocks thoroughly and you will also need the secret which actually and you have to also give permissions here so you have to generate the secrets here right and you have to also give permissions here right so currently by default as soon as you create this you will get the user read access so you can but i haven't given the admin consent you have to grant the admin consent here so this is the first uh, you have to create right so he just mentioned like graph api power bi you can rename rename it right or you can delete it right whatever you want to do i just just given a graph api once you create that you have to follow this article and and you have to give permissions right this permission whatever the permission by default i have already shown if you go to the api permissions here user read is there so how you can give the permissions so you go to the permissions i based on your uh, requirement you can whatever you want to pull you have to click on permissions right and you have to click on intune right so what type of you want to uh, read the information from intune through any applications for automation purpose or your just application permission so there is two type of permissions watch type delegated permission or application type de delegation permission your application need access the api as a sign in users right you have to if you are signing in or or if you want to use through um, any any automated script then you can use the application permissions right so i'll just search here i need this one application permission okay and you see here uh, okay. device management so into an api are available via microsoft Gear. you may want to consider this one so you have to search the permissions here right if you go to the api permissions app registration that you click on add permission and application permissions so you can let's add this one i select application permissions right because we'll be reading from the graph api i don't know why it's not showing which type of user let me close i'll go to graph so admin Oh, oh here i have to select the graph and then application permissions so yeah, i have select something wrong and then if you just want to read the uh, read the uh, configurations or or just you want to read the users right or directory so or or maybe the device management application so go to here select this one expand it select right similar like you can do for all these roles right if you want to add one more roles here it's a depend on the requirement what type of roles you have to click on microsoft graph i was just clicking on here if you select here directory role add okay so see you see here and then you have to click on grant permissions so once you grant the permission it will say granted so i have granted and only azure admin can grant the permission so i have given now you can generate the secrets as well so what you can generate the token here secret so 
so what you have to give you have to give name like i'm just giving power bi secret and it will expire for 18 month or 20 month 20 months right recommended is say six months so but i will be using for 12 months for now so here and make sure you copy the secret id here value and secret id right so let's copy because once you get away from this one you won't be able to use that so let's copy this one okay i am just gonna show you something okay i just copy this one and the secret id as well just for my recall secret id as well okay and this is the value and if you go here and again come back right so this is how you can do uh, get the secret id and everything you can follow this article as i mentioned you have to copy the client id and tenant id i already shown video on how you can copy this this is the client id right this is the client id let me copy the client id here match it get here client id and then tenant id you have to copy from here tenant id tenant id client id and secret id okay this one value is not required so you need client id secret tenant id and secret id I have already copied from and we have also given a permissions here and granted so as soon as you did from this 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 these three has to be done from the Microsoft Azure side and then you can generate the client secrets and then that's it right now what you have to do you have to follow this uh, guide uh, and at the end of this guide you see download the power bi template so if you download it and open this one let me open this one power bi graph template uh, let me uh, so i don't think so i have a power bi available not here so for me it's not available but yeah once you download this you see here graph api power bi graph api template pbit extensions and if you have a desktop uh, application power bi desktop application you can just import it from here and follow the rest of the steps here right and once you get that you will able to pull the data from microsoft intune right so all these article and don't forget to uh, put the comment here if you are stuck here and just fill your informations and it will be very nice to get the feedback right so on this i hope you will learn and use this graph api and build the power bi report within within eight minutes right or maybe 10 minutes till then thank you have a good day Bye-bye. Take care.